to the friends and family of Kara and Sawyer. I welcome you all here today to share in the love that they have for each other and give recognition to their decision to accept each other and to share their lives together. I'm not gonna cry though. Mm. You're so beautiful. Thank you. I love you. That is so beautiful. Look at this. She tied not. This is a really tight heart. That's good. <laughs> As I lay here trying to write vows, I look at a blank page. You're in the corner of my eye scribbling away, not lifting your pencil for a second. Yet I stare at a blank page. After three years of creative writing courses, winning free writing contests, studying the English language for four years, there are no words in the English language to describe the love I have for you. I've never known a man who is willing to love me under no conditions. Not once have I ever feared I was not enough for you. I've never had to hide away the real me to appease who you wanted me to be, because you don't want me to be anyone but me. I am enough for you, and for that, I thank you. I promise to always be your safe place where your heart may live with its guard down. I promise to always love you and make you feel my love. And I promise to never dim of that light inside of you. Love you. Love you. Tara. Whenever someone asks me um, how I knew you were the one, how I knew that we were gonna get married, it might sound cheesy, but I think back to our first date. I wish every single day that I could go back and relive that moment with you. I wasn't ready for how fast we would come together and how fast we would fall in love. Up to that point, I had my whole life planned out. I thought I knew what I was, what I was going to do, where I was going to be, who I was going to be, and that didn't work out as planned in the best way possible. <laughs> I promise to stick by your side through the good and the bad, the happy and the sad, <laughs> when life is easy or when life gets hard. I promise that I always put you first. I promise that I'll strive to be the man you deserve, and I promise to love you for the rest of our lives. Kara. I don't know what I did to deserve you, <laughs> and I can't say how much you mean to me, but I couldn't be more grateful to be spending the rest of my life with you. I can't wait for what's next. I love you. This ring. I joyfully bind myself to you in I, the covenant of marriage. I joyfully bind myself to you in the covenant of marriage. We did it.
<laughs> With this ring, I joyfully bind myself to you. I joyfully bind myself to you. In the covenant of marriage. In the covenant of marriage. Sawyer and Kara, now that you have made your commitment to one another in the eyes of God, I happily call you husband and wife. Now you can kiss your bride. <laughs> On January 3rd, 2001, I was blessed with my very first friend and the best little sister anyone could ask for. Our bond is unbreakable, and despite what anyone here has to say, I love her the most. Sawyer, I now entrust you, a person I hold in such high regard, to love and protect the person that I have loved the longest. I can't wait to see you guys grow more with each and every year and spend your lives together. It's been very beautiful to see how your relationship grew over time. It's very inspiring to see how in love with each other you are. Ecclesiastes 4, 9 through 10 says, Two people are better off than one, for they can help each other succeed. If one person falls, the other can reach out and help. But someone who falls alone is in real trouble. You two never have to be in trouble again. Here's to committing, each other to, <laughs> committing to each other forever, and may God bless your marriage.